All right, we're at the top ten, part Ooh. five. Of the Has any of this actually been interesting enough to talk about? I'm just saying. Yeah, seriously, these, this, this, this is like I, I, I'm glad I'm part of this, but I enjoyed watching y'all and Bruce doing the music ones more. There is talk that we will be doing a music one soon. Okay, that'll be on the other channel, right? Because it's not wrestling, can't do that anymore. It'll still be here. That's right. That's right. We'll put it on our calendar. All right, All top right. ten. All right, top ten. Here we go. November 11th, 1999. The boss man takes the Big Show's dad on a wild last ride. That was wrong. That was wrong. It was funny. Great way to disrespect the dead. It's funny was yours. I think Big Show's dad has actually been dead for like three years by the time he Something like that. Involved. Something like that. You know. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a good book to read. Big Show's book. If he actually wrote one. For the book club? If he yeah. actually did write one? He'd have to get one of those like novelty pins that they sell at, like Disneyland that are like this big and this fat so he could grip his paw around it. I meant... Okay. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Number nine. Which I think should be in the top five. November 9th, 1997. Fans, do you know what we're talking about? Do I even have to say it? If you don't know what November 1997 was, especially after me and Jay talking about it... What was it? The Montreal Screwjob at Survivor Series. Who's involved in that? I forget. Uh, the WWE keeps this under wraps. You know, they talk about Chris Benoit more than they do this event. So, Stat Boy, you need to fill us in on the details. What happened? Well, apparently, Bret Hart had the belt. Who's Bret Hart? He was, he's the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. You mean that guy that beat the Miz for the U.S. title? Because that's all I've ever seen of him. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. And he had just signed a 20-year contract with WWE. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. Is this the same Bret Hart that's the uncle that girl on SmackDown that farts? Yeah, the, yeah, the, really, the really hot one. Oh, okay. I, I didn't think pretty girls farted. Like there's a oh, they do. But oh. Jane Sound and Bob Strikes Back proved that when girls eat fast food, they do. Yes. As but any, yes, but uh, WCW w. gets in Brett's ear and says, "Hey, why don't you come over with us?" And then Vince decides, "Well, you know what, Brett? I can't really afford to pay you that much money." Now, Vince meaning Vince Russo. Yes. No. Now, Vince McMahon is enough of a genius that he'd never let a talent like Brett Hart go. Right. Exactly. Okay. Brett decides, "Well, I don't want to lose the belt to Sean. I have creative control." And by Sean, you we mean. Sean Spears. Okay, yeah, Sean Spears. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sean O'Hare. Or, uh, oh. yeah. or Sean Ricker. Huh? <laughs> well done, gentlemen. Thank you. Now. <laughs> we're going to spend 20 minutes on number nine here. Hey, that, 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 hey I'm, yeah. I'm fine with that. We can, yeah. we, we can discuss this till we're blue in the face. That's right. Let me go get some face paint. Yeah, there you go. Montreal Survivor Series comes up. Uh, of course. Brett decides, well... Let's have a fight, and I lose by DQ, and I'll just... Schmoz. A schmoz was the word. I'll lose, and Sean can have the belt next month. Vince agrees. Or tomorrow night on Raw in Ottawa, or, you know, yeah. whatever it was. Vince whatever. agrees. Brett goes off to get ready for his match. Vince goes to Earl Hebner, and, um. and I think even Triple H was involved, and Sean was involved, he says... You're getting the belt. I do not want Brett to go to WCW with my belt. Now, this was before Sean got all religious. Match goes on. Brett puts, or Sean puts Brett in the sharpshooter. Vince rings the bell. Sean gets pissed off. Brett's got the dumbfounded look on his face. Sean grabs the belt, runs off. Brett spits on Vince. We go to the back. Vince locks himself in his in the locker room, which was the smartest move he could have done. Asks Sean straight out, did you have anything to do with it? Brett, Brett asks. Brett asks. Brett asks, yeah. excuse me. Brett. Sean was on camera audio-wise, but he didn't really get on. He says, I had nothing to do with it. Vince comes in. Brett decks Vince, which was the best thing he could have done, because at least Vince decided to own up to it. And Brett walks away. Now you gotta keep in mind, when, when Mikey says we go to the back, the WWF cameras cut off when Sean went through the curtain. Yes. Inside the arena. 
Yes. All this other stuff was documented on Paul J's Hitman Heart Wrestling with Shadows. Yes. Except the actual fight between Brett and Vince in the back. Brett actually told the camera crew, you might want to get out of here. I might want to leave. And when we came back, Vince kind of ran into my hand. <laughs> That's all he said. And he even said, said, don't look at the camera, don't look at the camera, don't look at the camera. Yep. The camera was down low, so you see, you see Vince walking by. Then Owen comes out, he goes, I don't want to be on camera. And Brett's wife at the time, chewing Hunter out. That was awesome. Ripped uh, a new one. Kind of busy. I'll call you back in a few minutes. Give me five minutes. Um, that was in the bathroom. Uh, you know, who answers their phone during a promo? <laughs> Jeff gets it. You need to watch that episode. I think, I think, I, think I will. You're watching NWA. I think I will. Shout yeah. out to Mikey O'Shea for smacking the crap out of Johnny LaCosta. For answering his cell phone? I like no, that. Joey Ryan. Joey answered did. the cell phone. Joey oh. LaCosta oh. asked the question. Who answers the cell phone during a wham? Mikey I smacked LaCosta on the now. back. But anyway, uh, what, 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 what was Brett's wife's name? You, Julie. 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 Props to Julie one. Hart for. for Ripping Triple H one, you know God's gonna come down and punish you. And yeah, God's doing horrible things to Hardy. He's freaking ruler of the world. <sighs> if I rule the world, yeah. imagine that. Anyway, that was Montreal. Is that what happened? That's what happened. You know what? There needs to be a book or a DVD that chronicles everything that led up to that incident. Wow, I think I got that DVD for Christmas. I think it's called Sean vs. Brett. You can buy that at www.shop.com, amazon.com, or ebay.com. I like what he did there. I think it should be top five. The, the, and DVD, the way it will be soon, for sure. Absolutely. Go ahead. Number eight, June 12, 2003. Brock Lesnar vs. The Big Show and The Ring Collapses After a Superplex on Smackdown. The first minute, time, minute. the original. What? Well, go ahead, Jay. The Big Show and Mark Henry is the first time that ever happened. Well, Michael Cole thinks we're a whole bunch of idiots. You know? Michael Cole was there at ringside when it happened the first time. Exactly. And Taz said, holy shit, on TV. Yes, he did. The two. You see, you, you got to remember, we have brains, okay? We know... We do our homework. We do our hit. Yes. Yeah. I have a comment to that comment. JJ and I were at Raw in San Diego, uh -huh. and you claiming that wrestling fans have brains. We need. It. We we really should have rolled camera. The yeah. majority of wrestling have. fans have brain. Yes. Thirty yeah. percent of wrestling fans. <laughs> no. Oh, we're the only ones that have brains. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, put that in the comment box, folks. I mean, come right. on. Oh shit! <laughs> Wrestling fans that do internet shows have brains. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Because no. there's there's people that run CAW channels that you know. Yeah. Oh Christ. Anyway, the ring collapsed and it was a big moment. <laughs> but Mark, is that all we're gonna say <laughs> about that? Yeah, because yeah. We, we've skewed far enough okay. on that one. Yeah. What's that? Number there. seven. Before the bad phone rings again. Right. Gen January nineteenth, nineteen ninety eight. Tyson versus Austin. Ah, uh, the, the the epic in ring encounter. I don't know how your hearing is, but if you like sign language, here's to ya. Yes. Let's the That's all that needs to be said, because now one man's in the Hall of Fame, the other one's going in this year. That's right. All right. And it was, the, I think, one of the first major wrestling. Storylines to get coverage on regular news outlets. That didn't since have to do with the death. Since the days of Hulkamania, yes, for sure. And if you don't know the story, what we're talking about, go back and watch on YouTube the video that they played to chronicle Tyson's WWE career and why he's going to the Hall of Fame. Pretty much says everything in like two minutes. That's right. Tyson, Tyson. Number six, June 11th, 2007, Vince's limo explodes. One of the greatest explosions I've ever seen. And what could have been a great story that would have been built over a couple of weeks and ended, and it just it didn't happen it, because, because of that. Gosh, I wonder, what, who, um, that should be number one for yeah, the record. Really. To be fair, there was another death that happened prior to that one. Yes. I believe it was Sherry. Right. And... 
they were going to completely not even acknowledge that on the air for fear of skewing from the explosion angle. But the divas in the back basically said, you acknowledge her, we're not going out there. The so diva drew up a little picture for her right before the Divas match. I remember that, yeah. That's who I say. Then there came the other thing with that guy from who, who was a member of the Horsemen, the Triple Threat, the Revolution, and the Radicals. Held many championships in many federations, but for some reason it doesn't exist anymore. Nice. But, but I have heard that he is a Wolverine a Canadian crippler, and he is for real. And I also find it eerily creepy that the roster was dressed in their funeral best on Monday the 25th for Vince's, or Mr. McMahon's funeral. And I still say that is one of the best... I would, I would compare that explosion to a Hollywood-type explosion. That was a badass explosion. I'm surprised that. that there yeah. was still anything left of the limousine. Yeah. And what was left you could get on... WWAuction.com. Yep. That's right. Yep. Signed by Vinnie Mac himself. That's right. Because Mr. McMahon died, not Vince. Number five, we're in the top five. July 26, 1998, Sable and the Body Paint Bikini. Ah, yes. Now I know why it's number five, because, you know, it was a handprint over her tits. So, you know, five, yeah. It was one of the... One of those little taboo moves. Was it five injections of silicone at each Ooh, breast? Ooh, good one. Sable too was... Soon? No, not too soon, actually. Of course it was... Because we know Brock Lesnar couldn't win five UFC titles, let alone five UFC matches. Actually, he did win five UFC oh, matches. Okay. Yeah, he won seven of them. There he goes counting again. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, okay. Sable and the body paint. That, that's why he's Stat Boy and I'm just a fucking renegade. Yeah. And I just ring bells. Yeah. 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 But yeah. Sable and you and talk I, after they ring. And you, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. Number four. October 17th, 1983. Jimmy Snuka with the splash off the top of the steel cage. Don, Don Morocco. Don Morocco. Really? Well, at the end of the night. day. That wasn't that OMG <coughs> of a moment. However, it was an inspirational moment. Yes. For Mick to Foley. a number of wrestlers, not just McFoley. Tommy Dreamer said that. Uh, Which is why I think it ended up on the countdown. I mean, they even have said Snuka had left off the of cages prior to that. Bob Aglund among them. But for some that. reason, that one leap is, oh my god. That's nice. uh, if Jimmy had left off of the cage and then gone splat on Hardstyle, that would have been, oh my god. <laughs> oh. No disrespect to Owen. All None fame. whatsoever. But that would have been an oh my god moment. True. He had le left off of cages before. So it wasn't that, oh my god. Mm -hmm. In my opinion. If you disagree. I agree. I agree. Okay. You're speaking volumes. Number three, November 4th, 1996, Brian Pillman with a gun. Yeah, that's pretty sick. That should have been number one, in my opinion. I've always said that the WWE needs to use a gun in some kind of capacity. In 1996, they proved it. Then they did later, because they used a freaking the tranquilizer, uh, tranquilizer yeah. on big shows so they yep. could shave them all. Yep. Brian Pillman had finally lost it, you know. He was twenty. What do you mean, Finally. Storyline-wise. Brian was gone for about two years before that. Seriously. Brian Pillman had lost it before he joined WWF. Yeah. Lose Cannon before Horseman. I think it would have been a little more scarier if he actually fired the gun at Stone Cold. What? How do you know he didn't? How do you know? We don't. Oh. Well, we've read the books, but... Seriously, the show faded to black and you heard the shots. Kind of like Dallas. <laughs> Who shot Austin? Da, that could have been a good... Da, da, who shot da, Austin? Da, da, there you go. Who shot Mr. Burns? Da, da, da. Maggie did. Maggie had a little crazy. Baby. Number two. Number two. March 22nd, 1999. The Beer Bash. Now, see, here's where I have a problem. The Beer Bash is more of an oh-my-god moment than Pillman pulling a gun. Thank you. That's bullshit. Bullshit. The and Beer Bash and the Milk Bash should be like 
right next to each other. And the only reason I had on problem with number one being number one, because I remember number one is now that I actually had a chance to think about it. Number one over number over the pill and point of the gun, just because number one was very much a storyline driven thing. And number three is a storyline driven thing, and you didn't actually see anything. Mm-hmm. Number one, you're about to say, was literally a what the F, oh my god, holy all that stuff rolled into one. June 28, 1998. As God is my witness, they're right above us, folks, and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Do I need to go any further? King of the ring, Taker throws Foley off the cell. That is... Okay. And just look at me like pulling a gun is not worse than that. I will grant you, pulling a gun is some serious shit. Undertaker took another human being and threw him off a 16-foot high cage. That one was storyline. So was the filming thing. Okay. If it had been mankind falling through the cell, chair collapsing on his face, well, I that was more fun. oh my god than Undertaker taking him and heaving him off the cell. I think the whole match is the oh my god moment, if I remember right. No, I think it was, it was just no, it was it was just it was being just thrown initial throw. Okay, well, initial I, throw. Okay, I disagree then. The the going to so which the I say Brian Pillman work. pulling a gun on national. Television, grand cable television, yeah, still, yeah. but national television is more extreme, more holy shit. Oh my god, yeah. Then, yeah. Right. Yeah. what do you guys out there in YouTube land think? Let's make this a comment box explosion. What, yes. what should have been number one if it wasn't that? What's missing from the list? Yeah. Considering it's just WWE moments. There's not too many I can think of that are missing from the list. Right. But if this truly was the 50 greatest oh my god moments of all time, then they need to open this up to right. other footage that exists in their library. Yep. Make I mean, part we're two. talking ECW mass transit incident. We're talking Sid Vicious jumping off the top rope and breaking his leg. We're talking Greg Valentine destroying Roddy Piper's ear in a dog collar match at Stark mm. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. We're talking, All you know, shit. the NWO stuff. Yeah. We're talking Shane Douglas winning the NWA belt and throwing it down. Shall that I was, oh my God. Yeah. For the whole industry, not just a little little niche company. And How they about, own that footage because that's ECW footage. Rey Mysterio and it turned into a human torpedo. That exactly. could have been... That yeah, it wasn't, oh my God. Well... That was a beaner flying. <laughs> the, oh <laughs> shit! The the attack as a whole. That was a pinata. Pinata. P- pinata. <laughs> yeah. Freaking um, what's another good one? No. I'm gonna catch some of these. How about the, 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 the monster truck incident in WCW when the truck went over the the building? Well, no, that was just picture went over the building, not not uh, not the truck. Hogan pushed no. the giant off the top of the goal. There, there, there you go. Yeah. 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 Um, there's so many out there. What do you guys think? Do you think it should have been just WWE? Should it have been wrestling in general? What do you guys think is your number one, your top ten, your top five, whatever you guys want to throw out there? And i got a favor to ask. Yes. Go ahead. Somebody, please, take the clip of Undertaker chucking Foley off the cell and I know where edit in going. the goofy <laughs> as he falls down and collapses, please, and post that in the video response. We will download that. Right now, and you can even do the wily e. coyote falling with the with the dust bomb at the bottom. That'd be even put him. Nah, it's gotta have the goofy. Oh, I say yeah, because you, you work for Disney. Yeah, 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 yeah. Goofy can be the initial video of the throw. The one like they they pull back and like the whole ring is shown and he's doing it. Dust cloud wily e. coyote. There you go. There we go. There we okay. go. Okay. Right. Make that happen, somebody, please. We're done. That's the 50 oh my yeah. god moment. Jeff epic, 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 epic rant. You I'm did the it. Renegade of Wrestling, JJ Williams. I am Jeff Meacham. I survived my first epic rant with Stat Boy, and I am proud of myself. I am the Stat Boy. Thank you to my brothers. Get those comments in, and we are out.